Yeah, my name is Hoyne. I'm a consultant psychiatrist, professor of psychiatry, and uh, editor of the Wood Psychiatry Archives. We had, um, apart from being a psychiatric journalist and publishing scientific papers, we also wanted to document the um, current and recent history of psychiatry. And I'm really proud that I could convince Norman Sartorius, um, who is one of the, some people would say, the rock star of psychiatry, and one of the famous psychiatrists who worked in the WHO and the World Psychiatric Association to write a little um, personal history for us. Um, I'd like to mention that we also we also recently gave a, con uh, a um, Congress lecture about the future of psychiatry. And I think he is a re really a visionary and I don't wanna go into much detail because you know, reading this and listening to the lecture is really enjoy or should be a, or is an enjoyment for uh, psychiatrists and also for clinical psychologists. I just wanted to take some of these notes that he was born in Germany in thirty five, where his mother, a pediatrician, worked at the time. At the age of two, he came back to Croatia, uh, then part of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. His mother. Uh, he had his um, home there, and at the age of six, he started the school, and in the midst of the Second World War, the mother joined the Yugoslavian rest resistance against the German occupiers and then local helpers, and uh, he and his mother spent the subsequent years in the forests and provinces of Croatia, where they experienced war at its worst. At the end of the war, he came back to Zagreb and completed secondary school. This is where a very exciting life started, and uh, he is currently president of the Association for the Improvement of Mental Health Programs. And one of his, I think, uh, one of his most important or very interesting um, part, I think I just can't go through his life because it's so full and exciting. But I can say one of the um, one of the outlooks seems to be important for me. And what this outlook mean, it means we should we should change our view and be brave to see what is currently happening. And you know, so minor and it happens that you know self-health is 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 becoming more evident. Psychiatry GPs take on their uh, on their role. And I think psychiatrists should be brave enough to um to look at public um health and look for ways to prevent uh, mental health problems and to look at the importance of psychosocial factors in medicine as a whole. So if psychiatrists would do this, I would say this would improve a lot in the future, not just doing what we do today, but also look at the uh, predictors of psychiatry. I just leave it at this. So um, we have a playlist where we see, where you can see these um, excerpts from these uh, papers. We have a playlist where you can see the conferences, uh, including the, um, the the outlook in the future by Norman Sartorius, and I'm really grateful for him being so supportive. Thanks, everybody, for your interest, and uh, yeah, if you have interest in, in, in listening and hearing from psychiatry, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot and uh, you have a good evening.